Hey everybody, Jimmy with the Triple C Collective here for another unboxing for Turtle Tuesday. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Turtles in Disguise 4 pack. Yeah, pretty excited about this one. Uh, for me, I never made, uh, I never got wave one or two of the dark skinned turtles, so this was the only way for me to get them. And um, I even still missed them in store. I uh, I never, saw, well, actually, no. I saw them in store once, but I couldn't afford them, so I couldn't buy them. And then I never saw them again. So I was lucky enough to be able to pick this up uh, from a Lair member uh, a little bit ago. So I'm really excited to be able to do the unboxing for it. Let me show you the turtles. Look at them. Ah, I love it. The, uh... The, it, unlike the style guide or like the uh, like from either Holothon or those or the st or the style guide two packs that they released, um, this is my preferred because this is closer to what they looked like in the cartoon, and uh, I just really love it. But uh, so here we go. Got Raphael. I'm pulling out here first. Check him out. Trench coat. I mean, this is classic, right? Like, from the cartoon to seeing him in the movie, Raphael in disguise is, like, the main turtle that we always see in disguise and stuff. This is so great, though. Um, everything is... Uh, all the clothing is removable, so you can take them all off, but I'm, like, struggling with it right now because I'm really awesome. And, uh, oh, man, this is just not working out for me right now, is it? Get up. Ah, there it is. Get it up, over, and a little bit behind. Woohoo! Cool. Now let me get his pants off. That it sounded way dirtier than I meant it. Um, but yeah, so for me, this is a uh, this is awesome. Raphael. Now, out of this guy's, this is so great. Like, it's so awesome. I love these. I love these turtles so much. They're so they're so great. Um, next, we got Michelangelo. There he is. You know, I just love it. It's just so good. Michelangelo is my favorite Ninja Turtle. Um, so I just love any time that I get them. And I it, like I really wanted the turtle in disguise, like I said. I missed out on like the first releases of them when they were like with like the villains and stuff. And then when they did like the two pack brothers and whatnot for them in this uh, like darker skin. Whether you got the glossy or the matte, um, I believe mine's probably more glossy than anything else but like um I don't, i'm not sweating that i just i'm just really excited and happy that i have these so we've got that one of my favorite accessories we get and it is the skateboard there's no question like i sometimes don't always go into the accessories or like the extra hands and stuff but like when things are really cool i just love it the skateboard is a key or a skateboard i feel is like a key accessory for the turtles based on like just the cheapskates and the whole idea of them like skateboarding in the sewers and everything so like uh personally you had to see it like you had to get it and i just loved it so so much um here we go we got we got leo and uh you know leo with his very serious face um i just love it i just love this all so so much and then we've got Donatello here. Finally, we've got Donnie who does machines. All right. And Ooh, got Donnie out there pretty quickly. Man, taking their, again, this is going to sound way dirtier than I mean it. Way dirtier than I mean it. But taking off their pants is really difficult. Um, like these little things, they've got like little, uh, elastic bands in there and it gets like caught on just like everything coming down, like just like every little crease on them, uh, coming down and everything like that. And let me get Michelangelo. Uh, that's, there we go. 
But yeah, these turtle in disguise are really awesome. I the the getting the dark skin versions of them is so great because I did get the style guide. Um, I have that up here, that unboxing from Holothon that we got that four pack. Uh, but these these are just so good, so like the so close to the uh, animated series, like the original look of them. That this was. These are my favorite versions of it by far from the tune line of like the brothers, the, uh, you know, the darker skin ones. And again, for me, it doesn't really matter like which ones I had at this point. Like I had missed out on those first two waves. So I was just happy to get like whatever, whatever I could get my little greedy little paws on and stuff. So this is, ooh, I'm not going to do that. That's a little stiff, but yeah. You know, God, undressing these guys are way more difficult than it should be, but... Oh, and then here we go. Maybe Leo is the easy one. Yeah, finally, the last one. Okay. But, aside from that, we also get, now, another great accessory in this is this boombox. There it is. Is the boombox. I freaking love this thing. This boombox is so cool. It's a great little accessory, and ah, I just love it. It's just so great. Um, we also get a nice little nod here, a nice little guy here. Petey the Pigeon. He's got his own little, like, Ninja Turtle mask on and everything. It's a green one. Yeah. Petey the Pigeon. So... That's a great little, like, nod, deep cut there. Um, one of my, one of the other great things about it is the masks that they, um, let's see, can I get that off? Is then the mask head that you can put on there. I put this one on Donnie, but, you know, you can change them. There's four of these, so you can put them on all the different turtles, and that's what it comes from. It comes from the uh, from uh, one of the God early episodes. They uh, are trying to walk around the city, and they're like, "Hey, we need to be in disguise." And whoops, Oop, you got to be careful about that. That's right, because these heads are interchangeable. You know, um, so. My Donatello head did not break just there. You know, I just have to... There it is. See? No, Donatello's fine. His head, you know, popped off there in two pieces, but he's okay now. And then we... <clears throat> aside from that... Oh, man. The anchovy and the pizza. The anchovy and... Uh, ice cream on the pizza. Great. So good. It's so cool. It's so great. Um, it's really interesting though, because like, it's definitely a departure from the cartoon to the like nineties movie because Michelangelo has that thing. If you put anchovies on this thing, and I mean, if you put anchovies on this thing, like, uh, he has that whole spiel when he's ordering it at the beginning of the first movie, but like here in the animated series, like Michelangelo is definitely all about the anchovies in the animated series so it's wild it's wild that they decided to make that distinction between the animated series and the movie but you know whatever um and then finally we get all of their awesome like weapons like hmm, Raphael's sigh you know Donatello's bow staff got Leo's katanas here All of those, I like. I just love it. Uh, Michelangelo's nunchucks are over here somewhere. Yeah, they are. Here they are. Like the nunchucks. These these accessories that you get in the four packs, like this, like the style guide and stuff, and like the turtles in disguise. Like ah, oh, it's so good. You get so much, and it's just these things are like must have for your collection. Um, I really love this. It's a great four pack. It was so much fun to unbox. I love that I have this now for my dioramas and for like any uh, pictures or like little videos and shorts that I decide to make. 
Uh, so I want to thank you all for joining me here on this Turtle Tuesday unboxing Turtles in Disguise. My name's Jimmy Clark. Uh, this is the Triple C Collective. Hope you have a great day. Cowabunga!